Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. When I first started blogging a decade or so ago, I blogged on this particular issue and I advised Barbadians back then, get a second, get a third opinion. Get a second, get a third opinion, okay? Make sure that if you are at your end of life that you have mapped out and you have written down what you want to happen to your body, the organs in your body, make sure that everything is detailed so that no one takes, you know, just go in and do what they want with you. Just make sure because I'm saying this now and it is true. It is the God honest truth. They may be not caring for you the way they should because they may want something that is inside of you. Because even back then, <clears throat> excuse me, when you took someone to a doctor and they would say, oh my God, this needs to come up right away. Oh my God, how are you living with this? I'm surprised you're still standing. And they will talk and talk and talk and say, just give me $20,000 now and I will set your appointment. They go through, flip through, flip through, flip through. And they say, oh yeah, yeah, I have a day. I have a day coming up this Wednesday. We, we need to get that up real soon. And the person not having the money and then the doctor saying, well, maybe you can borrow it. Ask your friends, ask your family to come up, to come together and get that money. I'll do it right away. Do it right away. And no money. And the person lived a life you know 80 90 whatever nothing nothing i remember another instance where the woman the it was a female after she got a bad diagnosis from a barbadian doctor she went and got a second opinion and it was not the case what the first doctor said needed to come out did not need to come out i remember another incident where uh there was an alti naval on a, a small child and the doctor there was saying it needs to go in it's going to spread it's going to create a hernia it's going to be so bad and the child grew up and it went away the audi became an innie and it just went away with time as the child started to grow and everything moving to place you know you know the body it always tries to fill up empty spaces it, 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 it organizes itself that's one thing you can say about the human body it, it will find something to go into an empty spot and fix this and put this there. So everything worked out. Everything worked out. In a nutshell, in a nutshell, make sure that you are getting second opinions, third opinions in Barbados. Make sure that if, if it is something quite serious that you have written down how you want things disposed of at your end of life, or even if you're a young person, make sure that you have things tell your mom tell your dad your sisters tell people who are close to you how you would like your organs to be disposed of if you want to be buried with them if you don't mind donating but make sure that these things are said and are known and make sure some if, if you have the if you have your you know if you have the wherewithal you can make sure that it's written and put down on paper that people know what to do with you when something goes wrong and always 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 in Barbados always get a third opinion yes yeah, second opinion is like something you just do automatically automatically you, you know you don't you know lean on your Bible for this one when it says trust no one trust no one it's in your Bible it may say a different way what how do they say they say the heart of man they talk about the heart of man. Do it that way then, if you want to do it that way. You rely on that particular passage that says, talks to you about the heart of man. And do what you must do to protect yourself. Third opinions and write down how you want things to go at end of life. Sherry Veronica.